welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing something a little bit weird. So I contacted Miriam, my Chanel makeup advisor, and she told me that the Poudre à Lèvres duo is in fact safe for the eyes. So that's what we're doing today. We are turning our lip and cheek duo into an eyeshadow. Lip and cheek duo, does that make sense? I don't know. Basically, I use the powder on my eyes and it's giving me a little bit of Valentine's Day feels, but you know, I'm always early to the trends, so happy Valentine's Day in advance. It's January 15th, but you know, it's a whole month ahead. You can't say I'm not prepared. You know, it's a whole month ahead of the actual date. Is it, it, wait, no. It's not February 15th, it's February 14th. I'm sorry, I forgot what date Valentine's Day was. I'm, I'm a Capricorn, I'm just super organized, like it's a month ahead, gotta get this Valentine's Day uh, video up. No, not at all. This is. A complete joke. This was not intended. You guys, make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can know when I post a new video. And let's just go ahead and get started on this eye look and see how I created it. Okay guys, let's just jump in. So I spoke to Miriam and she told me that the lip powder duo is in fact eye safe. So I'm going to try to use this today for my eye look. I hope it blends. I hope it's good as an eyeshadow. We'll see. So to start off, I'm going to use the really light pink shade in the Neuf Homme eyeshadow palette. I'm going to use this as a transition shade. As much as I want to have pink on my eyes, I also want it to be, you know, subtle and blendable. Okay, so now that the pink has been bluff, bluffed, wow, buffed and blended out. I just like made a word, bluffed. It's been bluffed out. Now that my eyeshadow has been bluffed out, I'm gonna go into the Poudre à Lèvres Lip Powder Duo. So I have number 410 Rosso Pompeiano. So this is like the in-between shade because there were three shades to choose from. There was a lighter pink, there was this shade, and then there was a darker, reddy, more of like a burgundy-ish kind of color. So going into the powder, obviously, I am going to put this on my eyes. So before I started recording the video, I kind of just played around with the different colors in the palette and also with this eyeshadow or lip powder here. And I found that the texture of this lip powder is a bit more grainy than the one in the eyeshadow palette, which kind of makes sense. I feel like the eyeshadow palette, they all feel very smooth and creamy. Whereas this one, like the texture just feels a bit more grainy and a bit more rough. The texture on this lip powder duo feels like a texture of a blush. If you've ever like touched a blush and put your finger in it, it doesn't feel as smooth or as creamy as an eyeshadow, which makes sense because it's a different, you know, you're using a different brush, you're using, it's a different part of your face. So the texture of the powder and the lip powder duo feels more like a blush, to be honest. I just wanted to like let you guys know that the texture does feel weird, but I don't think it's like a bad thing. It's just like the nature of the product. Also, this powder is very pigmented, so I tapped a lot of it off. I'm just gonna use this brush to just place it on my eye and then I'm gonna use a separate brush to blend it. So I'm using a clean blending brush. This looks more pink than I thought it would. I thought it would turn out red because in the previous video that I did and I used, when I used the lip powder duo on my lips, it was definitely more of a red color. But now on my eyes, it's very pink. I feel like this would be good for like Valentine's Day or something. This is turning out more hot pink than I thought it would. I thought it was gonna be like a deep, red or something. I thought it was going to be really red, but it's, it's very, very pink. I, maybe the balm helps transform it into a deeper red. I know that like it's trendy uh, for high fashion to have like glossy eyelids, but to me, I, I can't imagine doing that because, you know, I'm doing my makeup for this video, but then I also have like a life. So glossy eyelids always look really creasy and uncomfortable. So that was not something that I was interested in doing. So if you have number 410 and you want a hot pink eyeshadow just pop that on your eye now using a tapered brush i'm going into the pink as well it, like it's funny because like like look at this this looks like a red doesn't it and yeah when you look at like the previous video lipstick was like it was red but on my eyes i'm not sure what it is why but it's turning out really pink so i'm taking some of this pink eyeshadow and putting it under my lashes here I'm trying out a new concealer today, and it feels like it's creasier than usual. I'm trying the new NARS concealer, Soft Matte Complete Concealer, the one like this. It comes in a little pot. I usually use the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, but I feel like this one is like creasier. I don't know why. Let me know if you guys can see any significant creasing on camera. It's funny that I always say on camera, 
but it's actually on iPhone. So I think I want to get a table from like Ikea or something and have it behind me so I can have like decorations because in my previous videos, like my old videos, I used to make videos in my bedroom and I had like the nightstand behind me or I had like something behind me that had like all of my perfumes and Chanel boxes and things like that and it was really pretty. So I'm thinking you wish you could get like a small little table from Ikea or something and just have it behind me so you guys have something to stare at other than just like my face and a white wall. I can safely say that going into this video, I was not expecting this. I am quite surprised. This is giving me like highlighter, Pepto-Bismol feels. I'm not mad at it, it's just really surprising. I'm not exactly sure what color to put here. I'm thinking something shimmery. I almost wish this video was live, that way you guys could like vote, be like, put this color, put that color. Maybe I can just be psychic for a second and figure it out. So I'm gonna go into with this light pink shade and I'm gonna place this on the inner part here. So using this light pink shade, I'm kind of creating a little bit of a halo effect. I'm going to go back into the red with the taper brush, and I'm going to place a little bit more on the inner corner here. This is giving me hard Valentine's Day feels. I, this, this was not what I had in mind, but you know, it's makeup, it's art, you just roll with the punches. So if anyone was going to ask me for a Valentine's Day look, I present it to you now on January 15th. What can I say? I'm just always early. <laughs> okay. Would you guys watch my videos if I had like this face the whole time? Hey guys. I wouldn't watch my videos if I did that. I have the urge all of a sudden to watch Legally Blonde. I feel like she wore a lot of pink, right? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put on a blush because I didn't put one on yet because I wasn't sure where I was going with this look. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a black waterproof liner. So whenever I mention a product that isn't related to the video itself, I always leave it down in the description box. So if you're curious about what the blush or liner are, just go look in the description box, it's always there. I'm gonna go ahead and tight line and put this in the waterline. I'm gonna go in with my Dior Pump and Volume Mascara. So I quite like this nine eyeshadow palette even though I used the Lip Powder Duo today, but I like the shadows are really great, but also the palette size is good for the mirror because a lot of times the palettes are like this size, so they're really small, so when I'm doing my makeup it's like, harder to like see the whole face. Like I have a big face, I need to see a big mirror. And this just like is a perfect size. I feel like maybe I'll just keep using this just for the mirror's sake. So I went ahead and put on some highlight and I put a little bit in the inner corner here and under the brow bone. So let's go ahead and do the lips. I'm using the Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner in the color called Rosebud. So I'm finally using the gloss that I got from the collection. This is the Rouge Coco Gloss number 794 Popea. It's a really gorgeous little pink shade here. So I'm going to go ahead and place that on my lips. So I did wear this a few days ago just for myself and it lasted a few hours. I'd say like probably two or three. So that's pretty impressive. And I find that with a lot of Chanel lip glosses and lip lacquers, a lot of times the glossy effect will leave, but the color kind of stays a little bit. So this is just like a perfect little light pink. You can keep adding more if you want to have more color, but this is just so nice. and. Pink with pink. I mean, I wasn't planning on this, but this is where the look went anyway. All right, guys, that's it for today. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. This was a lot of fun playing around with this lip powder or duo. So my friend Tristan commented, was like, oh, so if Miriam, my Chanel advisor, said that I can kind of transform any powder that I have at home into a lip product with this balm here, can I transform any lip balm and powder into any lip color? Would you guys be interested in seeing this little science experiment? I can try out every lip balm and every powder that I have and see if that'll somehow turn into a lip color. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see that. So thank you guys so much for stopping by today. It always means the world to me that you take the time to watch my videos. I hope you guys are having a great start to the week. Happy Monday. I hope you guys are ready to get the week going. I just want to give you guys a quick update that I have been wearing this nail polish now for a week. Um, there have been no significant chips. There have been tiny chips around the cuticle area. I will give you guys a close-up, but please don't judge my cuticles. They are very dry and chapped. So there's been some minor chipping around certain cuticles, like just in the corners. I mean, you can't really see them because they're like 
in the cuticle in the cuticle I'm having a hard time speaking English today I'm really sorry guys I feel like a week is a pretty good time to wear nail polish I mean I'm gonna keep it on until any significant chips happen so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys uh, found this informative and fun and learned some new things I mean maybe we can just start using all of our blushes as eyeshadows now because sometimes you have a blush and you're like this is a really cool shade Maybe it'll be an eyeshadow. Oh, I have an idea actually. Remember that blush that I got in the fall collection or Christmas? No, Christmas collection. It was either the fall or Christmas collection. Also from Chanel. It's called So Close. It's like the bright orange one. It's this one here. Oops. I wonder if this would be a good eyeshadow because this would be like clementine, tangerine shade. Also, it could be good lip color, but also good eyeshadow. Should I do this for a video? Let me know down in the comments. All right, guys, that's all I have for you guys for today. Like I said, have a good week, have a good Monday. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know whenever I post a new video. Be sure to check out my channel on Wednesday because I will have something special in store for you guys because it will be my birthday on Wednesday. I'll be turning 30. All right, so I think that's all I have for you guys for today. Thank you for sticking around this long and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.